Hi, my name's Andrew Fratchis, and welcome back again to another episode on these flows. Um, today, we're going to go through a very powerful one just for admins this time. Um, most of our flows this have been focusing around, you know, improving user productivity. But today, we're going to focus on something that will help admins out a bit. And that is, if you ever had to uh, create test data in production, uh, maybe you did this because you have marketing crowd syncing and you know it only syncs to the one production instance, or you have other integrations that can't really hook up to your sub-prod environments or even smoke testing. So an easy way to find that data and go through and delete it is to build a good old screen flow for that. So we're gonna build out a nice screen flow for this in particular. Um, in this one, we're not gonna to have to worry about the record ID it was launched from, because we're gonna be launching it in a different way. And I'll show that towards the end. But in this one, I have my screen as my first element on my board here. So if in particular, I'm gonna call it delete test data. I've added here a text field and this is gonna be required and record names that contain the following. So what this is, is gonna ask the admin to input uh, the, rec the word or values that a particular record name uh, contains. I've also added some checkboxes. Now this allows this to be a bit more dynamic to work across multiple objects. So maybe you did this only on opportunities, you created some test data for opportunities, you know, and if you delete the opportunity, you'll go ahead, delete the product, et cetera. Right, you could go ahead and do that. Or maybe you did this on contacts and leads, right? You could go ahead and do that as well. Or if you want to do all of them, you could do it. Or even if you wanted to add some custom objects in, you could. So. The point of the checkbox is essentially to expand the search and to determine later on in the flow which objects we're looking at to find the test data from. So a very simple screen there. Then we have a decision outcome. And this decision is looking to see if the opportunity checkbox was checked. So we check um, that element there. So what that would look like, if I edit that so you can see what the resource looks like. I go down to the screen components opportunity and click that and I've clicked the global constant equals true. In the event it is, all I've done is specify conditions on a delete element. I've dragged a delete element into this. Object is opportunity and name contains record with the following text. So that is a text inputted in the screen flow. So I'll find all opportunities that contain the text uh, that the user inputted in that field. So going down again, we'll do the same thing for account. So again, decision split. Was the account checkbox ticked? If it was, we go down, we've got a delete element, and then we're checking that the account name contains the value that was supplied. Finally, delete contacts. Oh, sorry, before finally. Second last one is delete contacts. Go through again, check that. Name contains the records with the following text. And very last one is, delete leads. Again, decision split. And then we do again for the leads. And name contains records with the following text. And it's as simple as that, right? You want a very simple flow. This is going to go through and do that for you. You can even add on, you know, a success screen if you wanted to. Uh, in this instance, I don't add a success screen. Now, once you've built this, you've saved it, you've activated it. It's very important that it's activated before we go and do the next thing. So I've added this onto my home page. So as an admin, you know, you would want this in particular for your system admins. So we'll customize the home page for the system admins. We'll go down on the left to the components and we'll drag the flow component on, which I've dragged on here. And in the flow component, you then get to choose which flow that is active right now. So it only shows active ones that you want to have come up. And I've got my delete test data one there. And we'll go there. Once I've done, I click save and activation. So I'll get to choose, you know, how it will be activated, very similar to any other um, one. We can choose the app and profile and assign to the profiles accordingly. So what does that look like? Right here on the right. So that's my screen flow here displaying. If I wanted to go through, I can type in any value here. Let's uh, type in the word test. I've got the word test in names of contacts, and some leads and accounts and opportunities. I can go ahead, click next, and go ahead and delete that for me. And it's as simple as that. 
Thanks guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed that one. Very short one. And next time we'll have some more for you.